Well, hi there, it's Sandy with more of the 24 Tags of Christmas 2020. And this time we're going to be doing some colored pencil tags with penguins from MFT Stamps. And I'm going to use the Instant Photo Frames dies from Ellen Hudson to make the frame of the tag. I cut them out, drew in little pencil lines so I would know where the border is, and stamped the images. And I'm doing this on Stonehenge drawing paper. Love the texture of this stuff. And just using some colored pencils. You can use any brand you want. And I'm going to just run around and color all of them in a relatively quick fashion. I'm not going to get into major scenes or anything because they're tags. I think I've said that before this week. They're, they're not like rocket science artworks that anybody's going to keep forever. But this is another one of those ideas where you can coordinate this with the wrapping paper that you're using this year. Because I love to coordinate the whole wrapping paper thing. I think it looks kind of cool. And it also serves as a great reminder to, to know when my gift is coming up. When I see somebody holding a package with my wrapping paper in it. And I am a, a bear of very little brain. So if I use multiple wrapping papers, I often forget, oh, that was the gift that I gave. Here, there you go. But for each one of these, I'm using a gray and a black pencil to color the black portion of each penguin and then putting a little bit of gray shading. You can even get away without the gray shading on the bellies and stuff, not really get into that much detail, but it depends on you and how much time you have. I kind of like to practice my pencil work on something like this, knowing that it doesn't matter a whole lot since the tags generally do get tossed by the recipients. I save my tags, but I know a lot of people don't, and that's just how it goes because people are just too excited to rip open the gift and see what Santa Claus brought them. And for each one of these, then, I'm picking an accent color and a background color. And you can, of course, switch that up. You can trade them off as you're coloring all these, but I'm going to do the same ones. The red is going to be the accent color, and I'm making sure each one of them has a little pop of red of some sort because it made sense since I have some Santa Claus hats that they should have a little bit of red in them. Uh, notice that this little guy in the bottom right is not sitting flat and straight so don't feel like on something like this that you have to make everything straight either because they're just going to be little tags and it's going to be peeking through the little square in the tag frame anyway so be totally fine. Get all of their little noses and their little feetses colored. And then my background color, I'm going to choose to use a blue-green color. But again, coordinate it with your wrapping paper. If you've got, you know, green and red in yours, make it a green background. Why not? Or if you're using purple wrapping paper, use purple in the background. And I'm just making it nice flat color. Now you can choose whether you want to do fancy blending on these or if you just want to keep it really simple. I'm going to use some blending solution for mine and a blending stump. I'm using some baby oil. I put mine in a little container that has a lid on it and I put a cotton ball inside so that if I knock it over, because I am famous for knocking things over in my studio, then at least it means that I won't spill it everywhere because it's kind of stuck into the cotton ball itself. And you can blend just some of these colors. You don't have to blend all of them, but I usually work from lightest to darkest. So I've got the other colors blended and the black is last so that then I can clean my, my blending stump off at the end after it's all finished. And of course, because it's me, there has to be snow added, but you can skip that step and just put them into whatever frames you're going to use. The little... Uh, photo frames are going to be perfect for these because they're really tiny. I don't have to spend a whole lot of time doing a huge tag with a big background on it. You can just add a little bit of pop of color into each one of these and then put a ribbon on them. I've added a square of cardstock behind so that I could glue the ribbon in between the cardstock and the frame itself. So there you go. That is my finished little set of tags. Leave a comment here on this video as well as over on my blog for a chance to win because you know you want to win. And I'll see you again tomorrow with the last set of tags.